to the program. Are you, are you excited? He has a chanters. <laughs> My guest tonight, a legendary radio personality, making the move to Sirius Satellite Radio on January 9th. Please welcome to the program, Howard Stern. Howard! Has anybody ever rolled off the stage here? Yes. You know, by the way, how much makeup do you have on? I have My quite God. a bit of makeup on. You look fantastic. Isn't that nice? I, this is the second time I've been on television with you on one of your shows. That's right. On MTV. I, you were yes. the first guest ever. John had so many failed television shows, <laughs> and I was so lucky to be a part of the first one. You really, I think, set the bar that the guests and I could never attain. Once you came on, uh, you That's had set this standard. No, you had a, you, they gave him a show on MTV. He was a young, hip comic. Hip. Hip was the, the key word there. And yes. they, they put him on, and they said, would you be on this guy's show? And I go on, and I said, well, maybe I'll be a lucky charm for you or whatever. And uh, I went on, and we did this great show together. And mm -hmm. I think three weeks later, you were canceled. I think. And I was a lucky charm. You actually said to me, I give this six weeks. Yeah. I believe, I believe on air you said, I give this six weeks, and I, and I don't mean to brag, beat you by two weeks. You did. You I didn't quite I don't want to brag. You did. But I lasted eight weeks. What a show. I was awfully proud about that. Now, do you think I'm an egomaniac that I keep staring at myself in the monitor? God, I love that. That's really awesome. Can you see yourself? Yeah. What, is there a, between our skin tones, look at the, the skin tones. Is there a, a huge difference there? Yeah. yeah. Look at us. Yeah. If that is not a Jewy sitcom waiting to happen, <laughs> that is Jewy that is and Jew man. <laughs> Jewy and Jew man. Jew man. Yeah, two Jew. Are you excited? When I came to do uh, the radio show a week ago to say goodbye to Howard Stern on Terrestrial Radio, I saw fire in the eyes. I saw passion like I haven't seen from you well, in, in quite actually, a while. Well, that actually, that day was gas. <laughs> but, uh, no, yeah, I am really excited. What happened to me, John, was uh, everyone who uh, listens to my show knows this story, but I'll, I'll tell it to the to people who don't know. Uh, the FCC started fining me in 1987, and they took the life essence out of my show. My show was always outrageous. I could do whatever I wanted. When I came on the scene, I would just sort of go wild, free thought, and that's what I think made it different. I think it was maybe the first reality show ever. And uh, what happened, as they started to fine us, they beat us down every day, topics were taken off the air, I got uh, censored more and more, dump buttons were hit every time I opened my mouth. And essentially for me, it ruined the show. And I think I didn't realize how much sort of my spirit was taken away with the show. Are you saying Howard Stern was dying inside? I was dying inside, I was crumbling. And uh, yeah, it was bad. It was, it was not what I wanted to do in life. And uh, I came to the decision that either I was going to leave radio or, thanks to Sirius Satellite Radio. Which they weren't, I, you were not allowed to say Sirius Radio for a time? Was it, you had to call it? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, well, I couldn't call it Sirius Radio because uh, Viacom, the company that I work for, was very, th that you work for, that what? actually was very threatened. <laughs> yeah. They didn't want me promoting Sirius Satellite Radio. You think they're going to be mad about it? Yeah, I, I'm sure you were. And by the way, are they paying you anything for this show? Comedy Central is infamously cheap. Many years ago, when Comedy Central... They're the worst. You know, everybody was wondering what happened to Dave Chappelle. He went mental because they wouldn't pay him. He said to me, he thought it was a racial thing. It's not a racial thing. They don't pay anybody. Ask John Stewart. But uh, no, it was. They were going to give you how much were they were going to get? They would have paid no. you anything. It when, wasn't the when, money. When Comedy Central was started, yes, they brought me into a meeting. They said, "Do you have any good ideas?" And I said, "You know, not really." But here's <laughs> here's something I how do. Many have. Meetings do you go Let to me. Like I that? said, "This is just cable. Let me give you a couple of bad ideas." Right. No, I laid out an idea for them. I said to them, "What would be really great? You know how Robin and I do the news on the show? Yes. What if we came on and we did the news and we brought in some people and we just kind of 
like a fake news show. Like uh, politically incorrect kind of thing was what uh, really? we were going for. And, and then I left, and they said, well, we'll pay you to do this. And they told me it was about $4, I think, a day. And I said, no, nah, I'll pass on that. And then I guess they hired Bill to do the show, and uh, he, did just, he just did fine with it. But they are infamously cheap. And I, and I think with all of your success, yes, sir. there's got to be some money being paid to you on this show. Well, we get our lunches catered now. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Do you like Seafood Newberg? You know I don't. Not really, no. <laughs> are you worried at all? That, that having limits placed on you, having the FCC, having management issues drives you. If you remove all that, is that going to take away a little bit of the creative impulse? Are you worried at all that you, you lose your drive? I will always be mad at someone. That <laughs> never goes away. You will invent the enemy if you need there to. There will be an enemy. I've already had discussions with Sirius about things that we totally disagree on. Uh, you now, know, what they, they seem like they're giving you carte blanche. They're giving you, like, your own channel, another channel, in well, demand. They're, they're giving I, you everything. There's a guy who uh, we have on our show called High Pitch Eric. He's over there. He's sitting there. There he is. There he is. Right there. Yeah. He eats a tremendous amount of food. And I started to wonder, what would one of his bowel movements weigh? And, so, uh, but this is how I think. And, and, uh, so, Sirius... Was, was that in a brainstorming meeting? Or that was... Something? This was off the cuff, which is my kind of genius. <laughs> so, we decided to weigh his movements, and we wanted to do it up at Sirius, and Sirius said there was a health code violation. Now, on my new channel, we have the Howard 100 News. They cover all things Howard. And um, they went and did an investigation, and lo and behold, they found out that Sirius was lying. There was no board of health code that said we couldn't weigh his bowel movements. <laughs> So this controversy erupted, and uh, it was a big thing, and I went to war already with Sirius. Come on, let's dance. This is like Watergate. Let's go. This Come is on. No, I'm not dancing anymore. Sit down. Let me ask you a question. By the way, what do you think it weighed? I would say, I would say uh, nine ounces. You're, you're off. He, he came in at a one pound, two ounces. Good boy. Three ounces. Three ounces. I'm you sure. know what? I would expect that if you spank that, it would begin to cry. That's big. Yeah, that's big. He gave birth. Let me ask you this. Why didn't you, did you do it? And again, I'm not, I'm just following your lead here. Right. Why not weigh him, let him go to the bathroom, then weigh him again and not worry about... Uh, See, I didn't think of that. I feel really I dumb. I feel, I, really, I feel really stupid. Yes, the giant So you Stewart basically, uh, you, you got the down and dirty. Now, who does that handling? You have people. Look, you... never mind that. I am, I don't like the way the interview's going. I'm going to tell you how I feel. All right. uh, this is a rebirth for me. Yes. And I feel really excited about what it is I'm going to be doing over there. Uh, this is something exciting. This is getting a chance to invent a whole new medium, to bring people with me. I guarantee you, here's the sales pitch. For 12 bucks a month, you will never go back to listening to regular radio again. Are you a subscriber? Let me tell you this, Howard Stern. Tell the truth. I have been listening to you for most of my life, and I will continue to listen to you as you go over there. Thank you. And uh, I've always appreciated your humor. I, I, I have to say, I, I, I know how hard it is to do something like this for, for four or five hours a day, and you do it better than anybody. Oh, thank you. Really, nice that's it? That's the whole thing? We're not going to talk about your marriage and what's going on? <laughs> that's on your show. All right, that's good enough. Howard All right. Stern, Serious Radio. Yeah.